Hi everyone. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create exponential rhythms in FL. Um, the main tool is using the claw machine in the piano roll. So I'll show you a quick example of what we'll be doing today. So, so that's just a kick drum from basic FL pack. Let's say I want it to go faster and faster. So instead of doing like, like this, it would go like faster and faster and faster. Um, so yeah, here's an example. All right, this one. So yeah, you can create this fairly easily in the piano roll. So this is gonna piano roll for a sample. I'm gonna go pattern mode here. And so I'm gonna go on C5 to get the exact note. I'll duplicate this to get four beats of kicks. So this is the amount of kicks you'll have in your exponential pattern. So yeah, if you're making four beats of kick, you probably want a little bit more. So in this case, I'm using 16. If um, I go here on the claw machine, um, I don't know how this will be set up for you, but Probably it'll be something like this. I don't know. Um, and then you'll be like, "Huh, oh, what's going on?" Um, if you for the period in here, you enter exactly the amount of time that you have here, so four beats. And then you use the time distortion knob. I don't know if stretch to compensate will be there for you, but there's I put it on here, and this will like nudge um, the sixteen kicks either to the left or the right exponentially. So yeah, that's I'm happy with this. Um, here sometimes the note goes above for some reason, so usually I cut it a bit because uh, then if you want to flip it, if you click I'm on Mac, so it's option Y, but Windows is probably Alt Y. Um, there you have option to flip horizontally or vertically. There's nothing to flip right now. Uh, vertically. Right here. So you have this. And now for the examples i shown before, what I did was also put some velocity curve. So nothing too special, just like, that might be a bit much, something like this, I'm just dipping in this, because now if I have my velocity curve, and I click option Y, then And I did the same thing with the pitch. You can do whatever you want here, really. Um, so let's say this is all high. This ends pretty much on the original pitch. Now you have command B, option I, exit. I think what I did for the other one was the opposite. Yeah, it was in the middle going up. But Whatever, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, I'll show another last tip. Um, I'll just reset everything here. All right. I'm holding Alt here to reset velocities and pitch. Um, let's say instead of having a kick, you have a vocal and a sampler, and you have an ADSR set up so that it only sustains um, for the length of the note and it cuts afterwards. What you could use to get like um, a exponential, like kind of gate effect, you could use the articulate tool here. I don't know how it'll be set up for you again, because I used this before, so that's why it's like this, but maybe if you use, I usually use length, and then if you click the multiply here, you can change how much it will cut. So 
you know your your vocal can start not very gated and be more gated or the opposite whatever and you can use the gap here also so that will be less gated and then more gated as fast as it goes um be aware though sometimes for really small notes it doesn't really register so you might have to do some finicking by hand um for these small ones um yeah or you could try stretching your pattern and doing it and then putting it back really fast so using this here if i hold alt it will snap to 25 percent value so i could go like here or even longer and then i could apply that effect ensure these are correct and then stretch it back to however small i want it to be but yeah fl is a certain resolution for midi clips midi notes so you got to be careful when you go too small it becomes it, it can go smaller and it becomes just like a, a one shot sample so yeah um all right so i'll show you also how you can do it right here in the timeline it's not as good a method of what i just showed here but if you guys know of a better method for doing this in the timeline then i'd be interested to know about it so yeah um i know this method which is kind of annoying to do but it's like you take a clip then here it's one here it's two here's three depending how you do it like how much you add every time i will change the curve but um, yeah so let's say you have this and you have want a certain amount of kicks but then it doesn't end exactly on the pattern what you could do is uh that option in piano roll to like scale everything is also available in the timeline i don't think much people know about it but if you hold shift but the right shift on your keyboard not the left shift on your keyboard but the right one um then if you hold it and do this it will actually scale everything so if that's the length you wanted you wanted your kick to be happen exactly on the bar here so there you go um yeah that's all for me hope you learned something i'll see you next time peace